Hi there, I'm Jeanette Lane, a craft designer at Craft Stash, and in today's video, I'm sharing how to add a kinetic element to your cards. It's really easy, and I really love the results. They're just really fun and playful cards to make and also to give and to receive as well. So let's jump into the video. Now, before I get further into the video, I just wanted to let you know that all the cards that I made today, I used the latest Apple Blossom release, which is the Build It Collection, and it's a great collection because there are some stamp and die combos and embossing folders and so they're really fun and I wanted to use the Apple Blossom Build It collection to just share that you can add a kinetic element to any card it doesn't matter what stamp or die you're using or maybe it's an embossing folder there's always a creative way to add some motion to your cards now for this card, I used the roses, stamps, and dies, and I used a brad to add a kinetic element to it. So with this brad, it's so easy to just add a brad to your card. All you need is a pokey tool and a brad. Let me show you the backside. See the brad there? And all I did was just add that brad and then this swivels out of the way. So this whole panel moves out of the way to reveal this sentiment. So brads are a great way to add a kinetic element to your card. Now for this card, I used the fish tank stamp and dies. And what I did was add a little wobble spring to this seashell to just give it a little bit of kinetic motion. And if I tilt this to the side, you can see that wobble spring. And you can buy these little springs and attach them to all of your paper craft projects. So not just cards, but you can use them in scrapbooks and journals as well. And I will have those linked for you below because we have them available on the Craft Stash website. And they're so fun because they just add just a little spring, a little wobble to your card that's really fun. And you can also add a kinetic element to your card by using a slider die set, a slider or track die set. And so I used the Apple Blossom spinner and slider die set to die cut that little track on the front of my card. And then I added my automobile <laughs> to the front and then it reveals the stamp sentiment on the back, which says you did it. Like I mentioned, it's really easy to add a kinetic element to your cards. And so I'm gonna show you how I added the wobble spring to this seashell card. It's really easy and it really makes your card just a little bit more interesting and fun and playful. So here is the card that we're gonna be working on. And as you can see, I've already started quite a bit of a, the uh, process with this card. And so all I did was did some little emboss resisting with the bubble stamp in the uh, fish tank dies and stamps. And I also did a little quick uh, blended background using my distress inks. And then I just mounted that to a card front and I can set that aside because I wanna focus on how you add the wobble spring to your card. So I have my background and I also did some heat embossing beforehand. So I took the shell stamp and embossed that with some silver. And now I'm gonna do a little bit of ink blending on my silver seashells. So I'm gonna take this color, which is Dusty Concord, and I'm just going to put a little bit of color on the bottom half of my shell. And I'm gonna fussy cut these in a bit. So if I'm going outside of the lines, it's definitely okay, cause I'm just gonna take some scissors and fussy cut these out in just a bit. Then I'm gonna take a light blue color. So I'm gonna be using tumbled glass and I'm going to flip my shells over and I'm gonna do this on the upper half of my shell. Next, I'm gonna take a darker shade of blue. So I'm gonna grab Broken China and I'm just going to focus on the upper third of my shell. So not going all the way down to the purple, just kind of doing the top of the shell. And lastly, I'm gonna go with an even darker, this one's almost like a green blue kind of shade. It, it's evergreen bow. And I'm just gonna do that at the very tippy top of my shell. Okay, so I have my shells all inked and ready. So what I'm gonna do now is grab some scissors and just fussy cut those. 
Here are my three shells all fussy cut and this is the one that I'm going to add to the wobble spring because I think it's the prettiest and I want it to really pop off of the page. And then these other two are just going to go in the background. Now I'm going to grab my wobble spring and if you see there is the spring and there's adhesive on both sides. So there's a hard side and then this flimsy side and so the hard side is what's going to go onto your card. Wobble springs come in different sizes and if your element that you're going to be using is a little bit too small that's okay because you can always trim around it. So I'm going to remove the adhesive on this side and I'm going to mount my shell on that. But then I'm also going to do a little bit of fussy cutting because the shell is a little bit smaller than my uh, little spring panel. So I'm just going to trim this. All right, so now I have my shell on my wobble spring. So now I just have to remove the release paper and place my shell onto my card front. There it is, see it do a little spring action. <laughs> so now I can add the rest of my elements to kind of cover up this uh, plastic in the back. But if you use the smaller wobble springs, you won't have to worry about covering up this plastic with these elements. But I don't really mind because this die set has some really cute, just little like, uh, like fish and uh, coral and also some starfish shapes to make our little card super cute. Now to make this video a little bit shorter, I have have die cut some of the elements beforehand. So I did the coral in orange and then these little starfish shapes in craft colored cardstock. I don't know, I just felt like that would make them a little bit more realistic to cut them from craft. And then I'm just gonna glue these onto my card. So I'm going to die cut two little fish from this yellow piece of scrap paper. And what I love about this die set that is that it's really perfect if you want to use up your scraps because the dies are on the smaller side, which is not a bad thing. And it allows you to get creative with your paper stash and use up some colors that maybe you don't normally play with. Now for my sentiment, I'm going to be heat embossing. There's always time for bubbles in silver and I'm going to do that on a piece of vellum just because I like how fresh and airy that feels. So what I'm going to do is mount my stamp onto a stamp block and I'm going to grab my embossing ink pad, which I'm going to be using the Ranger Letterit embossing ink, which I love because it's really juicy. I've had this for a while and it just doesn't seem to lose its juiciness. So that's always a good thing when you are embossing. And for my powder, I'm using Ranger Silver Tinsel. And I love this because it has just a little bit of glitter and glitz to it. So there I am shaking off the excess onto a scrap piece of paper and removing any little um, powder that might have adhered to the rest of my vellum and not necessarily on my stamp. So that is looking good. And now I can save this powder for another project. Next up, I'm going to take my heated tool to melt the embossing powder, and then we can move on to adding the final touches to our card. Now it's time to glue my sentiment to my card front. And as you can see, I am just strategically gluing my vellum down because if you've ever worked with vellum and adhesive, you know it's really hard to find a glue that dries clear. And so you need to be really strategic about your adhesive when you're dealing with vellum. Now the final touch is some blue pearls. So I'm just gonna glue those. They remind me of water bubbles. And so I'm just gonna glue them here and there throughout the card to add a little bit more interest to my card. And for my pearls, I'm using Anita's uh, Pearl Wheel. And I'm done with my card. I hope that you were inspired to add a kinetic element to your card, whether it's with a brad or a spinner and slider die set or something as easy as a spring wobble, a wobble spring. I'm Jeanette Lane for Craft Stash. Everything that I use today is available at the Craft Stash website, which is craftstash.co.uk. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you real soon.